Right, it's four in the morning. And we just head out the door going to the airport. Catching a plane to London. waiting in the airport terminal 2 gate 38 just got some fresh 100% pure orange juice for 20 quai that's about two pounds and yeah just waiting for the plane to land Joe going to charge my phone as well why are you waiting Hello, we're currently on the flight to Lanjo. We've been on it for about an hour, I'd say. Just had an update and it said we'll be landing in about 40 or 50 minutes. I, I, I couldn't quite hear properly. Just to get a picture of how big this country is, we're going to the province of Gansu, which is bigger, I think, than the size of the UK. And it's not even its biggest, biggest province, not even far. And it's taken us about two and a half hours to fly to Lanzhou in Gansu from Beijing and then we're getting the train which is going to take 16 hours so it just really gets a picture of how massive this country is I'd like to look out to your to our right you won't be able to see much a bit of blue sky and clouds doesn't really feel with confidence about the weather when we land but hopefully we'll, there'll be clear skies ahead Well, we've landed in Lanjo, like 40 minutes, 40 minutes earlier than expected, and it's snowing. So it's going to be a white Christmas after all. <laughs> Sandy and I were feeling quite peckish, so we've come to the American Embassy to nourish ourselves. I'm loving it. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> this beer is well, this beer was nice. This one not so much. But they're both they're, This is Ching Tao, I'm not sure. I thought this was Ching Tao too, but it's not, so Yeah, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, this Ching Tao's normally nice, but this one is dreadful. So, we're currently on a sleeper train, we've got the hard sleeper, if you can see from my surroundings, we'll give you a tour later on, or on another train, we're getting quite a lot of sleeper trains. We, um, we're going from Lanzhou to, by the way, which is a horrible city, sorry China, but it's so era run down and the pollution is terrible. We, at one point we were looking at the rolling hills on the train going into Lanzhou, it was beautiful. We were in a tunnel, came back out, just billowing smoke everywhere. Factories everywhere. Horrible. So much smoke. Did we go past the nuclear power plant? Was it a nuclear? Well, it was it some like kind of power plant. It looked like several power plants. So, it wasn't nice. And we spent five hours there. So we, there were some nice people. We're sitting in a restaurant, charging our phones for like four hours, and some people were just like staring at us. <laughs> we had to get out of there. 
we ever stayed are welcome with all the secret police were coming but now we're on the train 14 hours to Dunhuang which looks a lot more beautiful and a lot nicer and I'm really looking forward to it it's currently called 7 in the morning I've been up for about 30 minutes now and I've got to say a hard sleeper train is probably one of the worst experiences I've ever been through you I bet I've probably got like 30 minutes sleep every time I dozed off someone would snore cough move rustle something if you're a soft sleeper like I am then this is not not for you if you're sound sleeper and can sleep for every, anything then do it cheap and you'll get to the place when you wake up we're currently like 15 minutes from Dung Huang so we'll see when we get there so after spending 14 hours on the train we had to get a taxi to our hostel as it, and it turns out it's closed for the winter call the man he says it's closed and that's the only English he knew he's closed it's closed so I keep calling him, calling other people. It just didn't work. We couldn't oh, do it. But in the end, we um, we booked another place, and this, as you can see, is a lot nicer place. A lovely hotel in the town of Dunhuang. And yeah, I'm pretty proud of what we got. Uh, I'm gonna write some scathing reviews on booking about this guy and his hotel or hostel. But we are in the process of getting a refund, so we'll keep you updated about that. Today we're going to US Spring in the Gobi Desert, which has which is the has a Crescent Lake Oasis, and we'll see you there. So we was walking around Dunhuang looking for a restaurant, looking for breakfast, so it's only ten in the morning. And this is the first restaurant we've come across, and they've given us a private room. It's all very fancy. Just ordered some traditional Chinese dishes. Rice of course, sweet pork, eggplant and um, cauliflower dish. I don't know the names of it, unfortunately. But it all looks very nice. just finished eating at this lovely Chinese restaurant and now we're going to get a taxi to the Crescent Moon Oasis also known as Yu Ye Spring. <laughs> 